Hi, in this video I am going to explain about pressure design thickness, minimum required thickness and minimum alert thickness with respect to API 570. I am Varun Patel, I am a mechanical engineer and certified project management professional. API 570 is pipe inspection standard that covers in-service inspection, repair, alteration and re-rating procedures for the metallic piping system. Before I will explain you further, let me ask you one thing. Will you perform remaining life calculation for newly installed piping system? Think about it. At the end of this video, you will know the answer. This is the equation for minimum required thickness as given in A7B31.3. I will show you later in this video, this paragraph 3041. In this equation, the minimum required thickness is the sum of pressure design thickness plus sum of all mechanical allowances. Mechanical allowances cover your corrosion allowance, erosion allowance plus any other mechanical allowances. As said earlier, you can calculate your pressure design thickness as given in ASMB 31.3. This is 304 of ASMB 31.3. Here you can see the equation for the minimum required thickness as well as the pressure design thickness for straight pipe under internal pressure, under external pressure as well as the minimum required thickness for cow and mitre segment of the pipe. To simplify your understanding, let's assume that for 6 inch pipe you have calculated your pressure design thickness based on the equation given in ASMEB 31.3 and that comes to 6 mm. So to get minimum required thickness, you have to add mechanical allowances and corrosion allowance and erosion allowance. Let's assume that is 3 mm. So by sum it up, we will come to 9 mm. But hold on, API 570 says that while selecting your minimum required thickness, you have to consider negative pipe manufacturing tolerance. That is 12.5% for most of the cases. So by doing all these maths, we will get 10.125. Now 10.125 is not a standard pipe thickness. Look at this table in which schedule 80 is the nearest thickness that match our minimum required thickness. That 10.97 will become our the selected pipe thickness or actual pipe thickness. Once your plant start working, you will decide your thickness measurement location and start monitoring the thickness as per the standard requirement. You know your initial thickness is more than the required thickness. So you will not perform any remaining life calculation until your thickness is reached to minimum alert thickness. Minimum alert thickness is the assumed thickness which is greater than your minimum required thickness that will give you early warning signal. So during your thickness inspection, once you will get this alert, you start doing all your API 570 calculation. Hope you understand the concept of the different type of thickness used in API 570 and you will get answer of the question which I have asked beginning of this video. That's all. What next you want to learn? Just write in the comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you soon with your requested video. Thank you.